So one of the questions is, why is antibiotic resistance growing so rapidly? And in fact, what we're seeing is that antibiotics are put into animal feed, into aerosols for fruits and vegetables. Of the 50 million pounds of antibiotics produced annually in the US, 40% go into livestock. So how does, how does this resistant ar resistance arise? Let's say you have 10 to the 9th bacterial cells all resistant to a particular antibiotic. One of them, one of those 10 to the 9th cells has a mutation that makes it resistant. All the others will be killed by that antibiotic, but that one will happily grow and divide, and then you have a bloom of an antibiotic resistant pathogen. By feeding antibiotics in huge quantities, to all of our livestock, we are increasing the chances of that one guy to develop antibiotic resistance. The other, another reason that things are growing, that this resistance is growing so rapidly, is that there are growing numbers of immunocompromised people. We have, and this is really partly due to the wonders of medicine and also to new infectious diseases, chemotherapy patients have very, very low immunity, they're infected by many different bacteria, and they grow and divide and develop resistance. Transplant patients, AIDS patients, even just aging populations. If you're over 65, your immune system, you know, is going to hell in a handbasket. And so you have to really realize that you are particularly sensitive to bacterial infections, and again, you become a reservoir for increased antibiotic resistance. There's also the excessive use of antibiotics over prescription and then unregulated over-the-counter sales. So these are all very serious problems. Of course, as I told you before, international travel has us all over the place. And so if you get a multi-resistant, multi-drug resistant strain of streptomycin in, you know, Spain, you wind up with it in South Africa in four days if somebody is traveling rapidly. So we have complete and rapid dissemination.